Hey, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve. I'm here in my Florida studio, and this is Nice Threads, where I take a look at some of the most interesting conversations happening on guitar web forums today. They can be educational, poignant, controversial, or just downright funny. Hit like and comment below if you see your name or a thread you've been on, and share it on these forums too. Subscribe here at Steve Guitar on YouTube for more videos like this, plus guitar lessons, tones, live looping demos, and a whole lot more. All right, after the break, we're gonna check out this week's Nice Threads. Here we go. All right, first up, we're gonna to head to strattalk.com or strat-talk.com and weird shaped guitars you would actually buy. Uh, this was started by 3Bolt79. He says, actually, I did buy this one. So a bit of a Gibson inspired oddity there. There's another one. And he says, what are your weird guitar fetishes? So uh, uh, first up, the daddy of them all, uh, quite interesting. Uh, Mike J89 does a little teardrop guitar right there. Um, let me find some interesting ones. Uh, no, not so much. That one's sort of interesting. Look at that thing right there. Uh, Rucio, I'm just saying these uh, usernames the best I can. Um, that's quite interesting. Little lightning strike thing. There's the Crescent Moon. Uh, that was posted by Diamond D. The half moon thing, I, I'll pass on that one, not my, not my cup of tea. Um, that one just looks like a straight up Gibson. So there is an interesting one by Agtronic. Um, little interesting points right there. And little, uh, all right, let me go to the next page. We'll take a look at a couple more. Somebody says I might buy a good one. I actually want one of these pretty badly. This is Chaunt. And that one looks like the Fender Meteora, I believe. Let me zoom in there. Uh, Meteora, this is one of their, uh, I believe, newer, um, I don't know if it's a reissue, but just a new interesting shape. And Death Ray, senior strap master, says I got to play one at Chicago Music Exchange. Very cool guitar indeed. Man, check him out. Looking quite happy there with the Meteora. Uh, chilling right there at Chicago Music Exchange. Nice looking store there too. A lot of cool guitars in the background. I'm loving it. Uh, a couple more angled pick guard. I mean, sorry, angled pickup right there. Neck pickup. Um, Pretty strange to have some headless guitars and that thing from Mouse. <laughs> Mouse posted that. And Sam and Callie. Uh, sort of like the um, a Gretsch kind of headstock. Uh, Black Falcon kind of thing. All right, so that is uh, weird shaped guitars you would actually buy. All right, so this is thegearpage.net. We're gonna come back to Strat Talk. We're gonna hop around from site to site, but thegearpage.net. Uh, plenty of forums uh, and uh, topics and threads here, but this is, do you still have your first guitar? So the choices are yes, and it's still my main guitar. Yes, but I don't play it that much. Yes, but I don't play it at all. No, but I have no regrets as it was rubbish. And no, but I wish I still had it. Um, I'm gonna vote that way. I had a crappy little $30 guitar from, um, from a store um, in somewhere in Georgia in a small town. It was like a pawn shop. It was a little classical thing, but I learned. Uh, but I don't think I really want it now. But let me hit cast your vote. Uh, so there you go. Oh, check that out. 69%, uh, sorry, 69 votes. 27% um, said the same thing as me. Um, there you go. But just by a little bit. Yes, but I don't play it that much. A lot of people still have theirs. Um, you know, if you add them all up. Uh, and very interesting. Do you still have your first guitar? So he says, I have, in fact, it's still my main guitar, but what about you? Uh, the acoustic strat. Um, oh, that's a video. Um, I don't have my first. Uh, this is Ducker One. I don't have my very first guitar, but it wasn't very good. I do have my 71 SG Deluxe, which was bought new for me by my grandmother in 71. Uh, really cool. Um, Neil 99, still got it. Resides in the bottom of a bedroom closet. Crappy plywood body. Plywood, what? All right, um, <laughs> couldn't get it, couldn't get rid of it quickly enough as Derek D. P.O.S. Um, he just posted a picture. This is Drew 816. Um, look like a little strat. Uh, yep, finished strat. I was gonna see if it was original 82 Dan Smith. 
Um, nope, I broke the neck off with my head when I was at university. Seemed like a good idea at the time. So that is Tim Cito or Tim Cito. Tim Cito. Um, this one, this by the way, was started by 5F6-A. That's his username, love it. All right, cool. So I'll move on from that one. Do you still have your first guitar? All right, let's, over to, uh, let's hop over to TDPRI. This is Telecaster discussion page reissue, TDPRI.com. And this one's really, um, this is really sweet. Happy birthday to my son. So this is started by Toto's dad. Uh, he says he would have been 59 years old today. Here's a pic from Better Times. His daughter's grown into a very beautiful young lady. I wish he was here to see her today. Happy birthday, buddy. I miss you more than I can ever express. So how sweet. Um, Toto's dad is the name of uh, the user here, but he, um, he posts that. It looks like his son, who would have been 59. Really sweet. Um, I'll read some responses. Get Bent says, happy birthday to your son. What a great, great, great picture. I cannot even imagine the pain of that loss. Um, keep going. Um, I'll raise a glass to your son tonight. Sounds like a great man. Great memories, TD. Sounds like you raised your son well. That reflects on you too. Uh, I love the hat. We can dig it. Sorry for your loss. Keep your chin up and remember the good times. Uh, Nightclub Dwight, happy birthday. Your son lives on here in our hearts. Each time we get to read your wonderful stories about him. Uh, same here. He lives on. Really cool. All right, so let's hop over here. This is Acoustic Guitar Forum, uh, and this thread is Musician's Friend Guitar Center Marketing. Um, this one's started by RP, a charter member. Uh, seems that Musician's Friend and Guitar Center are scrapped their traditional 10 and 15% holiday sales in favor of 0% financing and two or three times bonus points. I'm curious to guys what you think of this strategy. It's interesting uh, because uh, it looks like with COVID, um, there's less inventory and therefore there's less incentive to do uh, markdowns and, and deals like that. Um, so Rev Roy says, I very seldom buy from Musicians Friend Guitar Center. I can get much better deals from our AGF sponsors, even Sweetwater. Um, uh, let me scroll down a couple. Mike McLennison, I used to buy from both. I often consider uh, Musicians, Musicians Friend stupid deal. Uh, yeah, stupid deal of the day. If, I, if Guitar Center had a used guitar, I wanted to make an offer. That's about it. Um, Okay, Sweet Rotter Rules and Musicians Friend Guitar Center sucks. So that's from RP, um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the starter of the thread. I usually buy from Sweetwater, um, Super B23, the used gear at GC is the only thing I buy from them. Uh, so they're not really talking about the, um, the COVID or the discount uh, really topic. Uh, Royler 4, percentage off. I've made dozens if not hundreds of purchases for Musicians Friend. Um, uh, Chris Com, uh, LOL, despite acquiring debt when I can avoid it, says so 0% financing doesn't do much for me and I'm not into points either. I respond much more to 10% uh, 10 to 15% discounts. Um, so anyway, that's a quick look at that one. Let me hop over to another one here. All right, over to Strat Talk. Uh, your favorite guitar related word. Here we go. Let's see these. Knurled, bar, uh, yeah, Tom Quitewolf Bar, uh, Soul Man 969 G-String, guess we can tell where this is going, Circles, says Plectrum, uh, Bout, Nut, uh, Chicken Pickin, Custom, James E says F-Hole, Ebidus says Humbucker, it just sounds so interestingly odd, Lanky Twang Fender, Seamus O'Reilly, or oh, really, Stratocaster. Seriously, because of the sound, the forward-looking exuberance, the space age, space age whiz-bang imagination, it's the best product name ever. It's pretty cool. Uh, debt, <laughs> uh, Lick, Mine, Plank. Uh, let's go to the next page. Play, Lubricate, Discount. Love that. Cesspit says Discount. A um, couple more. Knob, Horde. Yep, Jamie Henry says Horde. Highway Star 106 Overdrive. Potentiometer says Dyroson um, and Delivered <laughs> says John. Nice job. All right, let's go over to the gear page. All right, how often do you change your strings? Another, um, another poll. How often do you change your guitar strings? Two weeks or less, one month, two months, all the way to nine months or a year or more than a year. Um, 
I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go two months because I, I probably should do it more often, but let's go view results. Uh, whoa, that's pretty evenly split. Um, yeah, right there in that uh, one, two, three month range is the most popular, maybe six months and more than a year. All right, sort of interesting right there. Let's see if there's any interesting comments. Um, this was started by Hippie Boy, by the way. Uh, Lawrence, it depends on how much I play and the shows I have coming. Uh, Cosmic Ape, like before or after the run? Good question. Um, George72 says, mine are coming up three years. May want to clean those, George. No. Uh, Monkey Brains, I don't sweat much, so they just last a long time. And Kevo, only when I break one, my hands stay dry and are not acidic. Uh, wow, I don't even know if my fingers are acidic or not. Uh, anybody else have a way to check that? Um, tube nine, tubes 99, never. Flat wound life, yo. Okay, all right, let's head over back to, um, all right, let's head back over to strattalk.com. Uh, can I fight the gas? I delivered, I discovered this Jackson Pro hardtail. I'm gassing big time. So, you know what? I've always wanted just a crazy heavy metal with a Floyd Rose guitar. I used to own an Ibanez way back when, but I sold it. And, but those flaming ones right there, super cool. Uh, <laughs> I love this. Uh, by the way, sorry, this was started by 3Bolt79 again. Uh, Believer7713. Come on, man. In other words, just quit talking about gas. Quit showing me awesome stuff about our great Jackson. Um, so he says, heck yeah. Uh, next one, uh, Jimmy Lightning, no you shouldn't buy. Um, oh, this is good. Storm's Edge, gas flow chart. Do you want it? If yes, buy it. Do you need it? If no, C number one. Can you afford it? If no, C number one. You already have one. If yes, C number one. So that's awesome. You're welcome. In other words, just they're all saying buy it. Uh, Smith Strato, gas support group. I'm finding the same, I'm fighting the same battle with a, a Lake Placid Blue American Telly 2015. Um, the don't buy it challenge. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Blue Oyster Cult, burning for you. I'm burning for you. I uh, love it. And people show some more that they're gassing for. So pretty cool. All right, I'm going to head over to the gear page again for another real poignant one. Um, this one breaks my heart. Uh, a song and slideshow for my son who passed away in March. This is Pete692. He says, uh, this Friday, I'm going to hit play in the background here. Um, turn my volume down. Um, he says, uh, this Friday is Eric's birthday. He would have been 15. It'll be our first one without him. It hurts to try to put together the words and images, uh, to try to convey how lost I am, but my son Eric deserves to have his story seen. Eric, likes mo like most preteens and teens his age, was absolutely transfixed by YouTube, so I can only imagine how delighted he would be with this video. As you can tell, I don't sing, so don't remind me. I don't play slide very well, nor bass. Um, uh, anyway, he talks about his music, but really sweet. So um, I don't know all the details, but it looks like Eric, if I sort of fast forward through here, um, uh, looks like he had childhood cancer, which is um, really sad. So let me turn on the music here. So look at that sweet picture right there. Hmm. Way to go, Eric. That's really cool. I'll read some comments. Uh, S uh, V5, oh, SV5150. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was beautiful. Uh, Art Trainer, incredibly moving and beautiful. Um, I posted on there. Wow, what an amazing tribute. So sorry for your loss. Sounds like such a neat guy. Praying for you and your family now. God bless. Um, my condolences, Pete. Beautiful tribute. Beautiful. Derek D, man, that just broke my heart. Um, thanks, man, means a lot. This is uh, coming from Pete. I keep going for one reason. Eric would have been disappointed with anything less. We're all stronger than we think with the right resources and support around us. Luckily, I have both available. That's really cool. So uh, that is uh, a song and slideshow uh, for Eric. God bless, buddy. Let me hop over to another one here on acoustic guitar. Um, 
I saw one of these earlier here. Um, oh, the opposite of what we just looked at, guitars that you would never sell. So instead of the ones that you had, this was started by Wise Dennis. Uh, and Slothead 56 starts it off by the 1995-ish HD 28BS. That was a gift for my wife. My son learned to play it. A Martin OM42 Koa, lifelong keeper, and a 1978 uh, Gurian. I don't know how to say that, Gurian. Uh, Jumbo Rosewood, bought right out of college. Um, uh, L. Lou uh, says, I've said in the past, uh, or Lou, I'm, I'll never sell this one, but then I did. I just built an HD 28-ish Adirondack top dread, uh, and he's never gonna sell that one. Um, uh, let me hop down here. Brooklyn Bob, my D18 would be the last one out of my house. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, move down a little bit. Uh, Bruce Bubbs, I'll let the label do the talking. He's got a Kittis RBJ 195 Jumbo, custom made for Bruce Campbell. Fussed over, labored on, cursed at, and hand assembled between December 2014 and July 2015 by Andrew Curtis. Awesome, that's really cool. All right, let's transition there to another one on uh, tdpri.com. If a bandmate was trying to date your ex. So this is started by T, uh, 2HB Strat. This isn't about me. Uh, but I recently found out that a bandmate of mine had been pursuing another bandmate's ex-wife and only um, shortly after she became an ex it got to the point where a discussion had to be made between the two bandmates and an ex to come uh, and the ex to come to a cease and desist moment. This is news to me and shocking. Um, if this had been me, it would have been one of those moments where it was either him or me for the band. Uh, would he still be your bandmate? Um, Get bent. I would strongly encourage the ex-bandmate to marry the ex. No more alimony. Uh, Navid to 11. Depends if the split was amicable uh, and you were best friends with bandmate and the band was really good and worth keeping together. Sure, why not? Um, Soul Geezer. She's my ex, right? So do I like the guy? If not, I'd probably encourage the relationship. Um, me down south. Exes and sisters. Man code. 101. Yeah, that's probably where most people are going to land. Uh, let it be, it ain't your business, avoid drama. That's from Brookdale Bill. Um, do you really expect to get any useful or valuable answers to this question? Uh, as you said, this isn't about me. Or are you asking for a friend? So that's nice. Love it. So those were this week's nice threads. Thanks for watching. Again, if you saw yourself in one of these, if you've seen a thread you've been on or a forum you've been on, hit like and leave a comment below. And also leave a comment about which threads you'd like to see or if I missed a forum. Subscribe here on YouTube at Steve Guitar for more nice threads, plus guitar lessons, tones, live looping demos, and more. All right, let's hit the beach.